You probably made it to this page because you want to take your pickleball skills to the next level, attract better partners, and have more fun on the court. Maybe you just started playing pickleball and want to understand how to play the game better. Or maybe you've been playing for a while, but are stuck at that intermediate level and want to be more competitive in your play and play with higher level people. Perhaps you find yourself making the same mistakes over and over again and want to learn how to play with consistency and make less unforced errors. Well, you've come to the right place because we're really excited to show you the five most common pickleball mistakes that we see beginner and intermediate players hit. These mistakes are a core piece of what's stopping you from achieving a 4-0 skill level and having more fun. And we're gonna show you how easy it is to repair those mistakes so the next time you're on the court, you'll see an improvement in your play. Also, we've got a really cool free gift for you just for being here. At the end of this training, we're going to give you a special link where you can learn our five minute pre warm up routine. A lot of people aimlessly get to the courts, dink a few and start playing, which is all wrong. In this video, we're gonna show you how to properly warm up before rec play so you're ready to play your best on your first game. And we will show you how dad and I warm up before a match when the gold medal is on the line. Just stick around to the end of this video and we'll let you know where you can get your hands on that video. So how do we know the secrets of advancing to higher level pickleball? Hi, my name is Dustin Nekorchuk and this is my son Xavier. And I grew up in the Seattle area where pickleball started. My dad put a pickleball court in at our house in 1988. And some of my best memories growing up were on the pickleball court with my family and friends. So I tell people I've been playing pickleball for over 35 years, but the game was nothing like it is today. Fast forward to 2016, Xavier was 11 years old and we're now living in Oregon. And I noticed some construction on one of the city parks and it looked like they were putting in some pickleball courts next to the tennis courts. Little did we know those courts would change our lives. Xavier and I joined the club and played most every day. I played mostly singles growing up, so I started off with some basic skills, but I didn't really understand the shots and strategy behind the doubles game. I remember the first tournament that I played on my 40th birthday. The first day was singles, and I actually won the gold medal in the 4-0, 4-5 bracket. So the next day, everyone expected me to clean up in doubles as well. But to my surprise, my partner and I got schooled in doubles. You see, I didn't really understand the shots and strategy behind the doubles game. So we went back to the drawing board and began to study the game of doubles and began perfecting our skills in each of the course shots and strategies. Today, Xavier and I both play at the 5-0 level and are certified pro instructors and have created some of the most popular online pickleball training on the planet. And Xavier is actually the 2022 National Juniors Champion in both singles and doubles. We've had the privilege of sharing these secrets that we're about to share with you, with countless people all over the United States and Canada, and have been able to watch people progress from beginner and intermediate players to a 4-0 or even 5-0 players with these secrets that we're about to share with you. Take one of my students, John. He says, I've been playing pickleball for about a year and a half and my level of play started to plateau before participating in the four days to 4-0 program. Dustin helped me understand the strategy behind shot selection, the importance of shot preparation, and the benefits of avoiding unforced errors by attempting low percentage shots. I've noticed an immediate improvement in my play and I'm excited to build on that progress as I use the tools and techniques Dustin shared with me. So we can tell you from personal experience, there are five core mistakes that are probably holding you back and keeping you stuck in your game. That's the bad news. The good news is these mistakes are common and easily overcomable if you know what they are and how to fix them. And if you do correct these mistakes in your game, you could start seeing improvement in your pickleball game the next time you step on the court. Imagine what it'd be like to almost automatically start winning more points, which leads to winning more games, which will lead to attracting better people to play with and ultimately having more fun playing this awesome game. Imagine what that would be like. Now, before we get started, you gotta make me a promise. Once you implement what you learned in this video and it begins to change your play for the better, promise me you'll share what you learned with at least one other person. We think pickleball is the greatest game in the world because anyone can play and have fun. And let's be honest, if you're going to do something, it's much more fun to be the best you can be at it. So do me a favor and spread the love. All right, now that we've got that taken care of, let's get into the training. Okay, mistake number one that we see really common in beginning and intermediate play is hitting balls that would have sailed out of bounds. You will win more points if you just let balls go out of bounds. And so I wanna show you how you can recognize the balls that will go out before you're gonna do it. So a lot of times the problem with beginner and intermediate play is you're just reacting to where you see the ball. And because the court is pretty small and because the ball is, ha is coming at you fast, there's not a lot of time to react. And so I wanna show you how you can know even before your opponents hit the ball, if this is a ball that you're gonna hit or if you're just gonna let it go. There's three things to consider when you're gonna make that decision if you should hit a ball or not. 
The first thing is, where is your opponent on the court? Are they on the baseline or are we playing up here at the kitchen? If you're playing from the baseline, there's a lot more margin for error. They can hit the ball a little bit harder without it going out of bounds. And you actually have more time to make that decision. But if everybody's up here at the kitchen line, you're only 14 feet away from your opponent. If they hit something at you really hard, you don't have a lot of time to react. And so that's where a lot of the problems happen is because you're like, oh, I just have only a split second and you make the decision to hit a ball that's way up here when it definitely would have went out of bounds. The next thing to consider is the point of contact where your opponent hits it. So if you hit them a dink and they're gonna hit a ball down here, the only place for that ball to go is up because it has to go up to get over the net. And it's gonna keep going up to clear the net, but it's also going to go out of bounds. And then the last thing that I kind of referred to just a second ago is their backswing or their body tension or that kind of thing. Recognize that while you're playing, that if they're doing, you know, if they look like they're about to hit it soft, their backswing is, you know, here, then they're probably just gonna come at you with a dink. It's gonna be a soft shot. When it's a soft shot, you can kind of relax and just wait for the next one. Hopefully your ball back to them is unattackable so that they're hitting the ball from below the net again. But if some point, and this happens a lot in 2-5, 3-0, 3-5 play, people aren't very patient with dinking. And so, you know, between one and three shots, they're coming at you hard because they just don't like that dink game. So you can almost predict, especially if you've played with people more than once and you kind of know their style of play, you can almost predict this guy's a hard hitter, he's a banger, I don't think he dinks ever. And so you can just be ready and just know, if you know that he's coming hard because he takes this big backspin and he does this big shot like this, um, that you just need to get out of the way, especially if his point of contact is low. As a rule of thumb, if you're at the kitchen line and you're in the ready position and your knees are bent, if it's shoulder high, let it fly. Meaning, especially if they're hitting it below the net. If they're hitting below the net and it sails, shoulder high or higher, then just get out of the way and let that fly out of bounds. Okay, to demonstrate this, Xavier and I are gonna do a quick little drill. He's gonna predict before I even hit the ball or right when I'm hitting the ball, if the ball's gonna go out or in based on my point of contact and based on how uh, how fast my backswing is or how far back my backswing goes. So here we go, we'll do a couple dinks. Out, out of bounds. Okay, I'm gonna try and trick him on this one. Thank you for telling me. Out, again. Out of bounds, yeah. Backswing was too high. My point of contact was too low for that one. So maybe give me a higher point of contact. Out again. That's up by my shoulder there, homie. Here we go. That one's in. Okay, so I didn't hit the ball quite as hard. Backswing wasn't as much, and I had some top spin on it. So you have to be careful for those ones. But this is gonna, as a general rule, gonna help you. Out. Barely out. If the point contact's down here, the ball has to go up, and it's probably gonna go out of bounds if they're hitting it hard. So just don't hit those balls. Okay, mistake number two that we see a lot in beginner to intermediate pickleball play is backing off the kitchen line. If you go out to your local park and you watch some 3-0 or 3-5 leagues, you'll see this a lot, where everybody's at the kitchen line, someone hits them a deeper dink, they take their pivot step to receive this dink and hit their shot, and then they get lazy and back off the line further. And that sort of becomes a pattern with a lot of people you see where they'll back up and then back up here. And now you've completely given up a lot of court um, for them to beat you with, basically. This is a lot of real estate for them to hit a winner on you, basically. So um, the more advanced levels, you'll see that they're up here and they're gonna be hitting dinks just like you normally would. And if they get pushed back for a deeper dink, there's two options. Either A, they're gonna pivot step back here and then as soon as they hit their dink, they're gonna regain their position at this line here, not getting lazy. Um, and then the other one is taking the ball out of the air, cutting the ball off early instead of even letting it get deep on you. So Dad and I will demonstrate a few um, of good dinking right here where you'll see he's gonna push me off. I'm either gonna take the ball out of the air or I'm gonna take a pivot step and then get back into the line there, out of the air there, same thing, out of the air or one pivot step and now I'm back out of the line, one pivot step and now I'm back up there. So that's good dinking, you'll see that. I'm regaining my position back up the line. What I don't wanna see you guys doing is backing off the line and then staying back there. So it kinda of looks like this, where we're dinking here, he's gonna push me off the line and I get back off the line here. Oh, same thing, one more time. And then eventually I pop the ball up to him, Aye, and he puts the point away with all this court that I've given him. I've basically lost my entire advantage when I back off like that. So be sure not to back off the line, regain your position, and you'll be good to go. Mistake number three is being impatient. A mark of a 2-5 to 3-5 player is impatience. And so for you to get above that, you need to be able to be more patient with your shots, especially when you're at the non-volley zone 
dinking here. So you only want to hit the ball hard when it's above your waist, above the net, so that you can hit down on the ball. If you're ever hitting the ball hard down here, it's either going to go into the net or it's going to go out of bounds. Okay? So that's not a good shot. You need to wait for the ball to be higher so that you can hit it in a downward trajectory. Don't ever be too impatient. Let your opponents be the ones that are impatient. Let them be the ones that try and speed the ball up from down here. And like we mentioned in mistake number one, just get out of the way and let that ball go out. The fourth common mistake that we see a lot is people not having their paddle up. Uh, you'll see they'll go and they'll hit their shot and they get sort of lazy, lackadaisical with it and their paddle is down by their uh, waist down here. And that's definitely not where you want it to be. That's not the ideal position. The ideal position for you to have when being and being prepared for the ball to come at you is having your paddle way out in front of you here at about 10 o'clock so you're ready for any ball that comes at you. If you're down here, you're clearly not ready for anything that's coming at you. So Dad and I will do some here and you'll notice when we're dinking, great. And then I'll drop my paddle down here. Boom, and I'm ready for these soft dinks, and then he hits me, oh, hit me in the chest. That sucks. If I had my paddle up, first of all, it's a good thing because I probably could have played that shot, but also it's the first line of defense to not getting you know, a pickleball tattoo. So we'll do it again here, and you'll notice that when I have my paddle up here, and he hits me that same shot, I'm ready for that ball, ready to attack it right back down at his feet, and I'll probably win that point. So correct the mistake of having your paddle down by your waist here, um, have your paddle up, and you'll win more points that way. Mistake number five is gripping your paddle too hard, especially when you're at the kitchen line. So oftentimes when you're at the kitchen, you got four players up here, you're a little bit tense because you don't know if the ball's gonna come hard at you, you don't know what to do, and you're like, ah, and so you're tense, and when you're tense, you're gripping your paddle really hard. This takes away the control. Now, if you're trying to hit the ball hard, then definitely grip it hard because you want to grip it hard when you're hitting it hard. But for the soft shots that you wanna keep unattackable from your opponent, you need to grip the ball soft. And so that's kind of the dilemma here at the kitchen line. Do I grip it hard? Do I grip it soft? If you notice that you're going for a soft ball, you want to dink it, but your dink ends up going up in their strike zone and you end up popping it up, chances are you're gripping it too hard. You're not absorbing the ball with a loop, loose grip pressure. So next time, just take a mental note and say, hey, I'm probably gripping it too hard. If I loosen up a little bit, I'll have more control. So Xavier and I are gonna dink real quick. I'm gonna grip my paddle too hard. I'm gonna show you that I lose control with that. I end up popping the ball up, he'll slam it on me. So we're dinking here. And then he can just put it away. And you'll notice if that's, if that's happening to you, all you have to do is just grip the paddle a little bit softer. Okay, I take the ball out of the air. I can do a nice soft dink and I have better control with those dinks where it makes it unattackable for him. He couldn't slam that. That was the same motion as I had with my grip really tight but that was, that was more of a dink to him and it was unattackable, so he didn't have it up here to put it away. So if you see a lot of your balls are being popped up, one way that you can help with that is loosen your grip pressure. Let me ask you a question. If I had a way to show you in four days a step-by-step -step process that'll take you to a 4-0 skill level or higher, would you be interested? Well, you're in luck because we've created a simple system that'll help you not only reach a 4-0 skill level or higher, but will also help you make less errors, attract better partners, and have more fun playing pickleball. Because let's be honest, playing at a higher level and being the best player you can be is more fun. Four Days to 4-0 is all about giving you a simple framework for the game of pickleball so that you know how to hit the right shot and be in the right spot almost without thinking. It's all about giving you the ability to compete against higher skilled players without feeling uncomfortable or inferior. And it's all about helping you reduce the frustration that comes along with unforced errors so that you can have more fun and compete at a higher level. Now, you may be thinking that playing advanced pickleball is out of reach for you. You may think only people that are young or in shape or have excelled at Rocket Sports in the past or have been playing pickleball for a long time can play advanced pickleball. And you would be wrong. We know several pickleball players, both men and women, playing at the 4-0 and 5-0 levels in their 70s. And with our simple framework, we know you can too in as little as four days. The training is designed to teach you four of the most important skills over the course of four days. We break these concepts down so that you understand what the shot is, why it's important, what most people do wrong, and give you instruction on how to execute the shot with an 80% or higher success rate. Inside the training, you'll discover how to increase your third shot percentage so you can offset the returning team's advantage, how to dink in a way that will win more points with less effort, how to volley effectively to put points away and cause more mistakes by your opponent, and how to instinctively know that you're hitting the right shot and are positioned in the right spot on the court. That's the key to success in pickleball. After completing each day's lesson, you'll have a solid framework of the game of pickleball and a better understanding of pickleball strategy than almost anyone you play. 
so you can step on the court with confidence knowing that you're playing smart pickleball and improving as a player because you're practicing a proven system. Watch the training at your own pace, implement and perfect what you learn on the court, and before you know it, you're playing the best pickleball of your life at an advanced level, or as we like to call it, you're a paddle boss. And when you go through our course and reach the paddle boss status, we want to celebrate your achievement by sending you a special award. More about that inside the course. We already have a bunch of students that have joined the Four Days to 4 -0 course and are seeing the growth that they're looking for in their pickleball games. Kathy says, we've come up from 3-0 to 4-0. We've learned some amazing skills and there are a lot of things that have made our games better. Beth says, I really like how simple Dustin and Xavier's instruction is. Now I'm excited to get back on the court. It's gonna make me a better player. Thanks guys. And that's our ultimate goal with Four Days to 4 -0, to give you a simple framework that takes the guesswork out of the game so you can focus on playing at an advanced level, making the game so much more fun. So when you sign up today, you're gonna get the Four Days to 4 -0 online course to help you achieve a 4-0 rating or higher, win more games, and have more fun in as little as four days valued at $500. But here's a secret. We're applying a ridiculous discount to this course as a part of this webinar. And as they say, good things come to those who wait. And since you made it this far in the video, I wanna tell you about a few bonus trainings that you're gonna get for free as a part of this special limited time offer today. The first is the Paddle Grip Masterclass. One of the questions we get asked all the time is how we grip our paddles for the different shots in pickleball. So we've made a short mini course that explains the two most common grips in the pickleball game and the amount of grip pressure that you wanna apply for each shot. This course is valued at $97 and is also included for free as a special bonus when you sign up today. So when you sign up today, you'll get four days to 4-0 and the Paddle Grip Masterclass, a total value of $597. The next free bonus you'll get when you sign up today is the Spin Boss Workshop. As paddle technology improves, you're able to do a lot more with spin on the ball. Inside the Spin Boss Workshop, we will teach you how to use spin effectively so you can keep your opponents guessing and keep more of your shots from going out of bounds. The Spin Boss Workshop is available on our website right now for $197, but you'll get it absolutely free when you sign up for the Four Days to 4 -0 today. So, when you sign up today, you'll get the Four Days to 4 -0, a $500 value, the Paddle Grip Masterclass, a $97 value, and the Spin Boss Workshop valued at $197 for a total value of $794. And I'm telling you, the longer you stick around, the better this offer gets. We know that if you wanna play like a champion, you need to practice like a champion. And that's why we're also gonna include our gold medal drills course. People are always asking us for new drills that they can use on their own or with a partner to help muscle memory and consistency in their pickleball play. So we've put together a course that has a bunch of our favorite drills to work on for each shot. And the cool thing is, anytime we hear about or develop a new drill, we're gonna include that in the course, so you'll have access to any new drills that get added as well. The gold medals drill course is valued on our website at $197, but you'll get it for free when you sign up today. So, when you sign up today, you're gonna to get four days to four -oh, a $500 value, the Paddle Grip Masterclass, a $97 value, the Spin Boss Workshop, a $197 value, and the gold medal drill is valued at $197. And we're also gonna throw in a four days to four out cheat sheet that you can print out and put on your mirror and remind yourself of the core concept in the course while you're brushing your teeth. The cheat sheet is valued at $47 for a total value of $1,038. Now, you'll be happy to know that we aren't gonna charge you $1,038, but if we did charge you that much and all it did was give you more confidence in your shot so that you could make less errors and have more fun playing this game for the rest of your life, wouldn't it still be worth the investment? I know people that have spent over $3,000 improving their game, so this isn't out of the question. In fact, if you go to one of the various professional clinics around the country, you could spend between $800 and $2,000 per person when all is said and done. And if you have a few pickleball fanatics in your household, this can get really expensive. So we're gonna save you a significant amount of money. And while in-person training is great, we believe our online course gives you a longer lasting result because you get unlimited access. You can watch a training video, practice the concept, watch it again, then move on to the next skill at your own pace, and as many times as you need from any device with an internet connection. And because we wanna make this incredibly affordable for as many people as we can, we'll be selling it for $500 in the future. But when you use the button below, which is only available on this page, we're gonna take off an additional 60% off, making the price of the four days to four course and the four free bonuses just $197. So there you have it, $197 for unlimited access for everyone in your household. Just click the button below this video and it will take you to our checkout page where the discounted price is already factored in. 
When you check out, you'll get instant access to all the training inside 4 Days to 4 the Paddle Grip Masterclass, the Spin Boss Workshop, the Gold Medal Drills, and the Cheat Sheet. So you have two choices. You can either continue going out there every day, hoping that you'll improve by playing with the same people and doing the same old things, or you can take the fast track to pickleball improvement by learning some shortcuts and real techniques, strategy, and drills from a couple professional instructors who can quickly give you the tools to become the best pickleball players that you can be. So, you only have a few minutes left to take advantage of this discounted price. And while people are getting signed up, we'll be going over a list of the most frequently asked questions. All right, the first question is, why did you create the 4 Days to 4 course? Well, quite simply, we love pickleball and love helping people get better. We offer private lessons and thought an online training program could help us reach more people with our simple pickleball framework. And on a personal note, I created some other online courses and viewed this project as an excellent chance to be able to collaborate with my son Xavier, imparting some valuable skills such as course curriculum planning, video production, and web design. And not only do we expect that you will grow as a pickleball player from our training, but Xavier gets to use his earnings from this course to fund his college education. So we see it as a win-win. Okay, the next question is, how many times can I watch the training videos? Is there an expiration? No, you get unlimited access to the course for one year. We actually encourage you to watch the videos as much as you need until the concepts are ingrained in your mind and become second nature to your play. And if you decide that you need to get back in after a year as a refresher, we will gladly renew your membership for free. The software is just set up on an annual basis, so we would just need to manually renew it, and you can email us anytime for enrollment issues at support at the paddleboss.com. Next question is, does the pickleball training cater to a certain skill level? The answer to that is yes and no. While we created the course specifically for beginner and intermediate players wanting to achieve a 4-0 or higher skill level, many players advance to 4-0 just on their natural abilities. And so the principle of this course actually is just as applicable to the 4-5 and 5-0 player. In fact, we use it all the time in our play. Like this is how we play pickleball at the 5-0 level. So it's not like um, there's gonna be something that only takes you to a certain skill level and you can't use it anymore. This is definitely for high level play, but we've brought it down to the level so that beginner and intermediate players can really advance to that 4-0 uh, level because there definitely is a difference between 3-0 play and 4-0 play. And so we're just kind of making that difference and showing you how you can achieve that um, and go beyond a 4-0 level play. That said, if you know your way around a pickleball court and are nailing your drop shots, dinks, and volleys at an 80% rate or higher, this course might not be for you. The next question is, how is this better than the free videos on YouTube? Well, you get what you pay for. With YouTube, you get a mixed bag of instruction and much of it is contradictory. You can actually become more confused after listening to four different opinions on how to dink. We teach using a systematic approach that is easy to understand. It's focused, it's comprehensive, and it's all in one place. Okay, the next question is, why should I enroll in your online course over a live clinic? So here's the thing, camps are great if you have a chance to do a camp with one of the top pros. If you do, then go for it. That's an excellent opportunity. But camps are a one and done experience, and it's easy to forget what you learned. With our online training, you can use it as a resource and come back to it as much as you want until the skills become permanent. In fact, one of the reasons that we created this course is to give it to our in-person students so they have something to reference on their own time. In addition, live camps can be expensive per person, sometimes costing over $2,000 all in. With the online course, we give you one license per household. So if you have a couple pickleballers in your house, you can get the same training as our live camps for just one low price, reviewable anytime from the comfort of your own home. So that's what makes the online option really nice. The next question is, will I get better with more time on the court? Not necessarily. We see people all the time that play three to five times per week that are stuck at the same level. And if they're having fun, there's nothing wrong with that. But you will only get better if you practice the right thing. If you're continuing the same bad habits, it will actually hinder your game and be very frustrating over the long haul. We help you correct bad habits and make new good habits, which will help you improve each time you step on the court. Uh, next question. I really like playing pickleball for fun and don't plan on playing in any tournaments. Is this for me? Absolutely. We believe that winning isn't everything, but it sure is more fun. And if this is a game that you really like, then you're gonna wanna get better. So even if you're just a beginner or a recreational player, this course will help you know the game better, which will make it more fun. Okay, the last question. Do you offer in-person lessons? Yes, both Dad and I offer in-person training in the West Phoenix area. So if you're in town, feel free to reach out. Okay, that's it for our top five pickleball mistakes that you can repair overnight. 
We hope this video has given you some great insights into how to take your game to the next level. And even if you decide not to purchase the course, this should give you a good start to know where to focus your time and attention to become a better pickleball player. So get out there and practice what you've learned. And for those of you that have joined today, we look forward to seeing you inside the course and sharing our proven pickleball principles and strategies. Well, that's it for our free training. We hope you enjoyed it and thanks for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you around the pickleball courts.